Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Lucidchart, two leading platforms for visual collaboration and diagramming. I'll break down their features, pricing and user experience, also integrations and more. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which tool fits your needs best. And after watching the video, if you decide to go with Miro, great. Check out the link that I've added in the description. If you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free, just through my link. Now let's get started. First off, let's look at what each platform offers. Now Miro is a collaborative online whiteboard designed to help teams brainstorm, plan, and visualize ideas together. It's a flexible tool that supports everything from mind mapping and design thinking to agile planning and sprint retrospectives. Now on the other hand, Lucidchart is more specialized in diagramming, helping teams create flowcharts, org charts, wireframes, network diagrams, and more. It's especially useful for teams who need to visualize systems, processes, and structures with precision. Now let's dive into the features. Miro stands out for its huge template library, sticky notes, mind maps, Kanban boards, and built-in collaboration tools like timers, voting, and video chat. It's great for running workshops, brainstorming sessions, and agile ceremonies in real time. Now Lucidchart, meanwhile, offers powerful diagramming tools with advanced shape libraries, conditional formatting, data linking, and visual activities. It also provides revision history, custom shapes, and robust integrations with tools like Confluence, Jira, and Microsoft 365. If your main focus is detailed performance, professional diagrams, Lucidchart has the edge. Next up, let's talk about the user experience. Miro's interface is simple and visual. Teams can jump in and start using right away without much training. The infinite canvas gives you plenty of space to brainstorm ideas, and it feels quick and easy to navigate. On the other hand, Lucidchart's interface is more structured and focused on creating precise diagrams. It might feel a bit technical at first, but once you get used to it, it is great for making clear and organized visuals. When it comes to integrations, both tools do a fantastic job, but in different ways. Miro connects with more than 100 tools like Slack, Asana, Notion, Jira, and Microsoft Teams. It's a flexible choice for team collaboration. Now, Lucidchart also has excellent integrations, especially with enterprise tools like Salesforce, Atlassian, and Google Workspace. These make it easier to bring in live data and improve workflows. Now let's talk about pricing. Miro has a free plan. The starter plan costs $8 per member per month. The business plan, $16 per member per month and the enterprise plan has custom pricing. Lucidchart also has a free plan. The individual plan costs $9 per month, the team plan $10 per user per month, and the enterprise plan also custom pricing. So which one should you choose? If you want a flexible collaborative whiteboard that supports brainstorming, design thinking, and agile workflows, Miro is the better fit. But if you need precise data-driven diagrams for mapping out processes, systems, or technical flows, Lucidchart is the way to go. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.